What's up, listeners? Today's episode is a snippet from last week's episode 23, where me, Patrick, and Ryan talk about the latest Hearthstone 9.1 patch. It was a long enough segment where we thought it deserved its own episode, so please enjoy the special last checkpoint episode, and as always, please subscribe to the cast, or if you're listening to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash c slash slash checkpoint, please hit that follow button. Thanks, guys, and enjoy. So when I'm not sitting on the couch and I'm on the go, yeah. when I want to be antisocial, yeah, right. uh, I'm playing Hearthstone because, as we all know, a few weeks ago the expansion just dropped, yeah, yeah. Knights of the Frozen Throne, and it it's refreshing. Uh, all all expansions are refre- refreshing for the first few weeks, right. but um, it, it's it's Un- different until the meta sets in right until the meta sets in which it has and uh, it is a little infuriating for for a couple different reasons but uh, as far as the cards as far as um the way they did it this time was they released a 130 card expansion 130 plus cards um they also had an integrated uh, adventure so for those of you that didn't know or didn't play they the the original model was 130 card expansion and uh and an event and an adventure where you're playing against uh, ai and you unlock cards on a weekly basis um for i think four or five weeks right. and that and those only had about 60 cards in them but now they in, in uh in this expansion they've kind of fused that together so you're getting you're getting all the cards and you're uh, you're able to play against ai which was surprisingly difficult because right. um you you to to get one of the heroes you had to beat the final boss with all nine classes and that Actually, that that was a challenge, and it was, I actually had a lot of fun with that. Mm. Um, but the game is amazing. Uh, but the thing about it was, was that it kind of overpowered one class. one class. So to piggyback off of that, um, I actually just is it, got... is it your uh, your <laughs> class in uh, oh my favorite Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> Druid, Druids. Um, piggyback <laughs> off of that, the last tournament that was held, the the Hearthstone um, Championship tournament, mm. first time ever. Where one class showed up, where where everyone showed up with one particular class, and that's the druid class. Mm. And most of the time, it was banned for good reason. So, um, what Ryan was alluding to was, and we didn't know this like coming into you know the expansion. Like we we speculated, we saw the cards, but no one knew just how powerful the druid class would be. Right, Ryan? Right. Um, Nobody made the call on stream. Like they're just like, no, druid uh, is broken. Uh, oh. Yeah, usually everyone uh, does some kind of card review and. Yeah. The card that they touched on, that was a problem. That is a little overpowered is Ultimate Infestation. Yeah. But no one realized that that was the actual yeah. problem. Everyone um, thought... Um, so a lot of streamers, a lot of top streamers thought that Quest Mage was going to... Because a lot, of, a lot of the themes, a lot of the direction was um, fatigue. Mm. Right? So you had a warrior card that basically threw your, your whole hand back into your deck. You had a priest card that threw your entire the whole deck, the whole deck back into your deck. You had double your deck. You stole, you stole your opponent's deck, put it in your Fantastic. deck. <laughs> I've actually seen that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's weird, right? So, so I think what 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 Blizzard was trying to do was to kind of you know weave out of the whole aggro uh, meta. Um, but Which what I think they effectively did, by the way, uh, there's only a couple of classes that can. Um, successfully pull off aggro but, they but inter- for the most yeah. part they've extended the game which i felt was very much needed because the 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 meta back then was was really fast and and really like it was it wasn't very but what rewarding it, it but, wasn't very rewarding <laughs> but wouldn't you say wouldn't you say rogue and 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 pirate warrior were sort of jay druid's counter in a sense like if 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 you couldn't get the jades out fast enough you know, you would get stomped on by those two classes. No, definitely, and that, yeah, that that was that was what was there to combat the the jade, the jade druid. For and sure. so, with those out of the meta, now you have you know the reigning king. Well, that's the thing is, pirate is still in meta, and I think it's because druid is still prominent. But I mean, with with the new additions, druid became more uh, became more powerful and was able to to live long enough to to sustain. The, the aggro the aggro decks you want to you quickly touch on the nerfs because i heard the nerf hammer came yeah down. so so all nerfs right so yeah the all the nerfs there were there were just um there were a few nerfs that were announced to some existing cards 
and most of them are from the basic set the basic set being um the very first set that was released um that everyone has access to um the classic cards right the classic yeah. cards yeah <clears throat> so the first and this is the i think the the in my opinion the 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 most major offender of the the druid class is the card innervate right which gives you two mana crystals uh, for a turn and if you think about it just just thinking about it you get you have two extra mana a turn mm-hmm. which well, it can launch you way farther ahead than you than if you if you're already ahead, or can get you back into the game if you're behind. It puts you two turns ahead. Yeah, yeah, essentially, and that was way too powerful. But luckily, um, they realized that this was an issue, and they're nerfing it down to gaining only one mana crystal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so a counterfeit coin. So a counterfeit coin. That's basically what it was. And right. what's funny is that no one really called that out. Like everyone, when counterfeit coin, which only gave you one mana crystal, yeah. came out. Yeah. Everyone was like, oh, this is an amazing card. Right, right. But this whole time, Druid has had this card since the very beginning that times, gave you two of those. Times two, yeah. Um, so it's it's a much-needed nerf, and I'm glad sure. it's, it's it's coming. Uh, Fiery War Axe was the next nerf. The warrior weapon, uh, three well, attacks. Well, where was that last days. meta, right? When Pirate Warrior was running around. Yeah, and I think this is a little harsh because now increasing... So the nerf is that they increased uh, the mana cost up to three from two. And what that, yeah, what and what that <laughs> did, <laughs> pro warrior. <laughs> I mean, what that did was that it, it made it a worse version of what's already existing. Um, the rallying blade is one of them, right? And it act, and it has an additional, an additional um, effect. Um, what else? Uh, there's a there's another warrior weapon that gives you a plus one durability if you have mm-hmm. a taunt minion. Uh, and just this being a, a vanilla three two, uh, for one more mana, right. just really crippled them. Right. It, it, in a meta where they didn't need to be crippled, so yeah. uh, where it, this nerf kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, it, it's an impressive card, but I think it's it's one that kept Warrior in the game. So I'm right. not sure why. Early game for sure. Yeah. Um, Hex is the next one. Isn't there a, just a, on the Fire War X? Isn't there a three three two in the Hunter with a perk? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, the Eagle the, Horn Bow. The reset and, on the mm-hmm. secret. Or yeah, the and secret. it increases your durability for each uh, secret that's triggered. So and that's Rogue, another one. Rogue of those. has one too, right? Uh yeah, it's the uh I believe it's called the Shadow Blade, and it gives yeah. you a, a vulnerability on your first hit. Bump, bump. So basically, uh, it um it put it in a tier of weapons at the bottom tier of the yeah. three mana weapons, which I mean they probably have a a, a vision right in the, of the future for this card. And I don't know, but <laughs> it sucks, and I'm sorry, Warriors. Hex is Hex was the is the next card that to be nerfed, and um it's the uh it's the the shaman class is polymorph, so if, uh, it was very effective for removing big min- minions right. off the board, right. um, and that just got its mana cost um, increased up to four from mm-hmm, three. Sure. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Polymorph has been existing since the very beginning. At four mana, right? At four mana. So, so yeah, um, and, and I think it's even more powerful because you can't do anything with a zero one taunt. Right. You can right. actually attack with a one one sheet. So, mm. uh, Mur- Murloc War Leader got nerfed as well. Okay, that was a. I think that was needed. I think it was needed too, um, but I'm scared that Murloc, Murlocs won't have a purpose now because right. um, Murloc War Leader, while very powerful, it it gave it it, it built Murloc decks. Right, right, right. Um, now that you're effectively removing an important link in the chain, will Murlocs still exist? And that's that's my question. Um, so the nerf is that uh, for. The Murloc War Leader used to grant other Murlocs plus two attack and one health, but they removed the one health buff, right. which is could be ver- which used to be very important uh, if especially if you're using a, a card like Finja, where if you summon them from your deck, uh, or, or um, if you summon the Mur- War Leader from your deck, and mm-hmm. it could save it could potentially ser- save Murlocs that you're attacking with. Right. right. So while it's definitely going to nerf all the Murloc decks, I just hope that it's not. Strong enough nerf uh, to right for them to complete. And then the last nerf. one was uh, what is it? The Spre- the taunt, the druid taunt. Yeah, thing? spreading plague, which spreading I think plague. was very much needed because, um, that's what kept Jade druids in the game long enough, right. um, to combat, uh, aggro decks because, for every minion you had a one five taunt, which is extremely hard to get rid of. So for aggro decks, obviously they're going to flood the board, right? So it's spreading plague at the at the low cost of five mana. You can have a one five taunt for every opposing minion, um, and that was way too strong. Um, so it's so it seems like what Blizzard's trying. I think the direction they're trying to go in is they want to. I'm not, I'm not trying to say make the original like 
um, the original cards unplayable. But they, they want to shine more light on the expansion cards, right? Because with so many um, decks, including the original cards, it it almost makes... It almost like outshines, you know, every card that in the expansion. Yeah, definitely. And uh, they've also expressed too that every time they make card adjustments, they're they're um, they have what they call design space in mind, meaning um, they're already working on two one two expansions out. Yeah. So any card adjustments that they make uh, are with that with those cards incoming in mind. So like while Innervate or Let's just say Innervate is getting nerfed for this for this reason. Maybe Druid is also getting a very powerful spell that might um, synergize with that or something. Well, uh, so something my, along the lines. My of that. last question is: with the current nerfs that are listed, is that enough to kind of even out the playing field? Absolutely, because I feel like everyone has a Jade Druid deck at the ready because exactly. they know how strong it is, and they know how many decks. Um, it can play, it can literally play against every single deck. You, right. A, a, a lot of healthy metas have um, a, de- a strong deck, but a counter to, a counter to that deck. Right? right. Right. There were literally no counters to to Jade Druid. Right. Uh, um, a lot of the a lot of the mismatches, if you could say that, were d- were due to just draws, and even then, Jade Druid could still come out on top. Which, right. Which shouldn't happen. That's not a healthy meta. Right. But with these with these changes, uh, I think it, it effectively. Like you said, even the play- playing field. So that said, um, I'm excited to see all the all the new decks that people were scared to try, or all the new cards that people were scared to try, and now like emerge because um, Jade Druid won't be so oppressive. I'm so, happy. Oh, good. Oh, I, was just, I have a. I, I guess a question for both for both of you. Then I kind of the piggyback off of what Patrick's question was. Who who are the winners here, and who are the losers, and mm. for these nerfs? It doesn't even have to be class based. It can be anything. Sure, here. sure. sure. Um, I think Ryan was kind of in that direction with with Warrior. I don't think they needed that nerf. So Warrior lost here. I think Warrior lost. Mm. Um, I think we all won with the Druid nerf, right? <laughs> we <laughs> agreed. The people yeah, won. The people won. The other the other three, I don't think will make too much of a difference, right, Ryan? Like, what do you think? Uh, the hex hex, I don't think will make a huge difference. Yeah. Um, the Murloc the Murloc enthusiasts are. Uh, they're definitely losers in this. <laughs> sure. Um, War Leader was definitely the strongest Murloc card. Arguably the strongest yeah. Murloc card. Um, excuse me, Murloc card. I think I, I, I think everyone wins, honestly, with these nerfs because... Everyone can't everyone win. win. <laughs> I well, think, not the Druid players. Yeah, exactly. Druid doesn't win. <laughs> because uh, a, lot of the, um, a lot of what you saw in Ladder were, were Druid and Murloc decks. And, yes. it, and they, were, they were played for the sole purpose of beating each other. So... I think now we'll, we'll we'll just see new decks emerge, and we'll see that of the 130 cards, more than two of them need to be played, mm. and, and and that also includes the classic and basic sets. So. I will I will say I was happy to see in the last tournament that had 100% druid participation. Mm. In a world where druid didn't exist, like doesn't exist, priest was number two, and that I don't think has ever happened. No, and I think the and I think the deck that you might be there's two decks that are strong mm-hmm. right now, um, Big Priest and Raza Priest, and I think those are very healthy decks, and um, they actually require a little bit of brain power to 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 pilot, um, and they're 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 not they're not ever one sided. Right. So, um, I, I think it's I think it's I think it's great I think it's great that Priest uh, should expectedly rise to the top, but. I think it'll still be um, competitive enough for other decks to, to right. compete. So that's those are those are uh, our thoughts on the the nerfs and the new expansion for yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hearthstone. Uh, I think we have a a good number of Hearthstone players that listen to this cast. So if you have any questions for Ryan or Patrick, uh, add us on Twitter. Is it the is it last checkpoint or the last checkpoint? LC underscore LC underscore podcast at Twitter. I'm wrong on all accounts. <laughs> LC underscore podcast on Twitter. Uh, hit us up there. And Ryan and Patrick can answer your questions for Hearthstone. I'm an open book, guys. He's an open book. He's an open book. Open book. There you go.